Hi, Jopke here again from the Netherlands and I'm creating the mission inspiration for June 2016. And the first step says glue down fragments of food can labels. I didn't bother to go through my food cans and soak off some labels. I use some magazine adverts and I'm tearing them uh, into small strips and gluing them down with a mud parch to my page. So this is actually the last mission inspiration I need to do and then I have completed them all for 2016. Uh, I know there are a few uh, done by Mike Deacon in 2015. There were two in November and two in December and I'm planning to do them as well. That was before he started the Facebook group in January 2016 and uh, before it became official. Um, so I am planning to do those as well. I've already printed them out and um, yeah, they will be done as well. So step two was add a thin coat of gesso, which I did. And step three is make marks with household items. Now I think I'm cheating a bit here because I'm using a baby wipe and some uh, acrylic paint, a purple color by Apple Barrel. And I'm adding uh, that with a baby wipe onto my page. So that's not exactly making marks, I think. But I'm also going to use the lid from, um, I believe it was a, a bottle of, with shampoo or something, uh, to make some circle marks as well on the page. So I haven't recorded all of my missions and now I am thinking to do them all again because I'm having great fun creating these missions. I love working with prompts. So um, I'm thinking to make uh, a book if I um, keep them all the same size like uh, this one. This is an A5 size watercolor paper and I could bind them all into a book. So I'm thinking to do them all again. Well, you will get different pages anyway because you make uh, you use different materials and colors and images. So it would be great fun to see uh, the differences uh, with the same prompts. Step four was add splatters and drips of paint and I did that with a uh, cobalt blue by Apple Barrel um, by watering it down and adding it to the top uh, edge of the page and then it dripped all down. I used some uh, water to spray on it as well and I also used a white acrylic spray paint to add some drips and uh, splatters. Then step five says add collage words from magazines and I didn't want it to be a busy page so I only uh, cut out one word from a magazine which says geluk and that means uh, happiness in English or maybe fortune or luck. So that's done. I um, inked the edges a bit with the Stazon uh, ink. And then the next step was add your focal image or images. And I used the flower to glue down on my page, which is actually a, a digital flower. I created once for a digital scrapbook kit, uh, which I printed out and added to my page. And seven says glue small circles of paper randomly. And I did, I cut out some circles. I glued them down with the Mod Podge and step eight is stenciling. And I'm using uh, two stencils, one by Tim Holtz, the bubble one, and one by Panduro. And I'm using uh, acrylic paint, a white acrylic paint and a little sponge to add the texture. And also I'm using the purple apple barrel 
one which I used for the background as well. Um, step nine is at stamping and I'm using the set of Indigo Blue which has all different kinds of circles in them. It's called the Limer Circles. And step 10 is at doodling and journaling. So I'm using different kinds of markers from Posca and Faber Castell to add some outlining and some shadowing and uh, some scribbled words. But I noticed that this is something I'm very careful with. At this point, I liked my page and I thought it was going into the right direction because before this page I tried to do the mission this mission the same mission uh, again and that didn't turn out uh, at all so I put it away and started again so I didn't want to ruin this page so I'm very careful with adding uh, the outlining and shadowing uh, uh, for example, around the flower, I tried the, the white marker first, the Posca marker, but that didn't do very much. So I um, did it again with the black. Um, uh, did I do it with the Posca or the Faber Castell? Uh, I'm not sure, but I, I need to be a bit more bold with this because um, that way the flower might have turned out um, a bit better than it did right now. I'm using some other colors, this purple one by Faber Castell as well, adding some uh, shadowing, but you see how careful I am. Next time I just need to go and just do it. Also with the circles here, I'm adding a dark gray for shadowing, but very thin lines and trying to smudge it out with my fingers a bit and way too careful but well it's a learning process and I will get there eventually so this is some splattering on the flower again with the white acrylic spray paint and then I am edging the, the I'm edging, I am inking the edges with the black ink, the Stazan. Uh, for my border, that is. And well, that's about it for my page. I will leave you a link to the Facebook group because it is great fun to play along. So go and check it out and uh, uh, play along with us. It is great fun. So I hope, well, sorry about that. That's the second time a bling comes into my voiceover. Um, yeah, mission accomplished for June 2016. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and Hopefully see you again soon and next time. So have a great day and till later. Bye bye.